What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down a nice little wrinkle that you can add into your spread offense that will help you with the double Mabel coverage. Uh, what's up guys, my name is Cody. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about helping people become the best band player that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, if you have not already gotten my uh, Arizona Air Raid Offensive Guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. If you want to get the offense and kind of study it and kind of learn what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, um, this offense is, I think, honestly, it's probably one of the best, if not the best offenses in the game. It's also a very creative uh, offense that you can use for a lot of different, um, just a lot of different things within it. And um, again, this is found in the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook. If you've not joined the true fan membership yet, it's just five bucks a month and you get my offensive, basically you get all my stuff, uh, offensive updates, defensive updates. You also get uh, me breaking down pro player schemes. So if you want to get access to all of the content over at the uh, True Fan site, it's just five bucks. So there's going to be a link in the description of the video. The play we're going over is Curl Wheel. And what we're going to do with this is actually a really interesting little deal. So most people, what they're going to do um, whenever they're trying to kind of build a defense is they're going to basically uh, do something along these lines. So you're going to see something like, you know, basically a Mabel coverage that looks just like this. Well, what I like to do, uh, the normal time, normally the way we set this up is we do this uh, basically like a mesh post setup where you see here we're just going to use these double wheels. And the cool part about this is you can hit your, you know, your little underneath routes and things like that. But what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about this kind of new way of running this play that actually uh, makes a lot of sense. And it's really primarily for the yellow zone that they might put over here and especially if they're using the circle route which they have to use for that route otherwise we will throw that every single time so what we're going to do is we're just going to simply hitch uh, the x receiver and we're going to put the running back on an in route that's a really simple route combination what's really cool about it is this little curl route is really good against mabel coverage like it's one of the best routes in the game against Mabel coverage. Now, one little thing that you can do to make this even better is you can go ahead and simply uh, take your uh, take your slot receiver or take your curl route on this play and just simply smart route him. So you see it looks basically like this right here. Now, if you look to the right or to the left again, you're going to see this curl route is going to go a little bit shallower. One of the things that's really, really cool about the running back in route, though, and this is why I chose to use the running back on in route for this uh, tip today, is because what, what, what you're going to notice is going to happen. It doesn't matter if they're in cloud flats and curl flats and seam flats and quarter flats and zone drops or not zone drops. It really doesn't matter. But what's going to simply happen is you're going to see that they are going to basically match this wheel route on the left side of the screen which is going to basically open up a nice little pocket. If they don't match the wheel route, that's fine. We can just take the curl. Um, if they do match the wheel route, which is more likely, um, then you're going to see. Now, sometimes um, it is a little finicky. That's where I would say, you know, with this specific play, it does make a little bit more sense to be on the right side of the, the field uh, as opposed to the left side. Let me show you that again. So, again, these are if they use the curl flat zones, which I think most people are using curl flat zones at this point in the year. Um, just because they're better for defending the flats but you're going to see again here's our combination we got this nice little concept here and what you'll see is they're going to carry see how they carry that zone and then it's going to leave us a nice little easy ball that we can hit this is really cool because um you're seeing that it's going to really um, begin to pull zones now uh, i just want to show you uh, what would happen if they weren't in match coverage let's say they're running these seam flats on the outside um, and just for sake of argument, let's just say they, they send some pressure. But I just want to show you kind of what this happens on the left side. So if they're running seam flats, you're going to see they're going to match this route stride for stride. It's going to leave this little running back table route wide open over the middle of the field. This route is really, really good because it basically forces them to um, play a very specific type of coverage. And that specific type of coverage is they basically have to use uh, seam flats to their, their, their uh, purple zone. So the purple zone can't be curl flats because curl flats are going to match it, which the problem with that is you're going to see, um, you see how the seam flat sits there? Now you've got this nice little window on the sideline to be able to hit your, your uh, post route that, that obviously uh, takes some time to develop. The other thing I really like about this is when we force 
our opponent to have to use C routes to defend these uh, to defend these little flat routes, it's going to open up some more pieces of the field. Um, you're going to see here this is triangle uh, this triangle route. Um, it's not as good, uh, unfortunately. I wish it would, the wheel route was a little sharper cutting uh, to the outside. Unfortunately, it's not sharp enough, and so that's really where the biggest problem is coming in. But the thing about these seam flat zones um, that they're going to have to start using to stop the underneath is it's going to cause them a lot of problems if we were to do uh, the inverse of this concept, which would basically be this right here. And what you'll see is a square receiver now has a lot of openings and a lot of opportunity to be able to just basically beat the defense. So this allows you to really open up your um, offense. It's a little trick that you can use. Now you can complete this even if they're not in a Mabel um, or even if they're not in curl flat. So for example, probably the best defense for this would be something like this right here. And the problem with that is again, they're gonna continue to kind of shoot themselves in the foot. So you see here, if they have a yellow, even if they have that yellow zone underneath, you see how that running back route is gonna pull the yellow zone and you're gonna have a nice little pocket where you can hit uh, the curl route on the right side. So there's really no surefire way to defend this. I haven't talked about this as far as it pertains to man coverage, but one of the things that a lot of people will do whenever they play man coverage is they'll man up the lineman out of three through five wide on the running back. The cool part that this creates for this offense is you're going to see you're going to get a nice little mis mismatch. I mean, it's just he's got easy inside leverage, and as you're going to see, you're going to be able to easily beat that coverage uh, to the inside. The other thing that I want to just really quickly hit on, especially with like shaded down man-to-man -man coverage, is when you smart route this curl route to the square receiver, you're going to see this natural little inside position, and you can basically throw a little low ball and catch the ball really easily. This curl wheel play is great for many, many reasons. It's a very versatile play. And if you want to learn my entire Arizona Air Raid spread offense, this is the offense that I'm going to be starting Madden 22 with. I think it's going to be the best offense next year. So if you want to get my entire Air Raid offensive guide, um, just be sure to sign up for the True Fan membership down in the description for just five bucks. And you'll get all of the updates to this over the summer as we bring them out.